Jay Barker out of Trustville, Alabama, will open at quarterback. And at the wide receivers, they don't go deep a lot, but again, David Palmer, they will try to get his hands on the football. Up front, a workmanlike offensive line led by Toby Shields at center, a junior from Fairhope. Very smart and very quick at that position. There's Palmer on the very first play to get him the football. Has five, has 10, has 15, and breaks it all the way out to the 50-yard line. Good blocking up front by the offensive line. Kelvin Knight makes the tackle, number five. And it was Prince Wimbley. Against okay, the defense. First down. Short drop, quick out pass. He's caught for the first down, and it's Curtis Brown. Just beyond the first down marker. Needed five. He ran a six-yard pattern. Mike Gentry making the call. And it's third down Bama. Shovel pass to Lassick. He's got a lot of running room. At the 15, at the 10, 5, touchdown, Bama. Kenny Roberts. Good heavens, no place to go. Lemansky Hall, the outside linebacker on the right, comes up and knocks him down. Lemansky Hall, by the way, you talk about speed, he's a converted strong safety. Now playing at linebacker. Shovel pass, hit, knocked down, and this is going to be a loss of five more yards by Mississippi State. Both teams have respect for each other in this kicking game. Because of the rush last time, Jordan just, it, it was all he could do to get it away. But he did kick it to Palmer. Let's see if this time, if he gets time, if he will kick to him, right? They have blocked it. On the ground and touchdown Alabama. And Tony Langham. Option play to the near side. Turns it up. Has five. And then is going to be picked up and driven to the turf at the 40-yard line. Well, that league continues to be more than interesting to watch. Arizona gets knocked off today after their big upset win. Big opening in the middle for Davis. We'll take it across midfield and is down in Alabama territory for the first time tonight. As the Mississippi State coaches said, he has to play well. Again. And breaking the tackle, but this time, number two, it is Prince. 14 to nothing. Alabama on top. Five minutes, 35 seconds left, opening quarter. Davis caught for the ankles this time by Michael Rogers. James is out. True, it is in. To the top of your screen, number 80. Play action, not going anywhere. Lemansky hauled on the blitz. Chris Gardner to attempt the field goal. This will be an attempt of 42 yards. Plenty of length. And he is no good. Off to the right. On third down. Short drop, pass over the middle, is complete for the first down, and that's Prince Wembley. About to go under one minute in this opening quarter. Little play action. Throws it complete to Lashik. He will cut it back into the middle, and all of that, and I think they picked up the first down. He's not going to make you forget Namath and a couple of other good ones they've had down there, Staber, but, but he just gets it done. This is Anderson, who's coming to ball him a tailback. He'll have five, and now 10 yards in the play. This will be a 42-yard attempt. Not the distance, and he's good. That youngster having just what everybody thought, a sensational senior year. He was really unnoticed, but very good. Brown with the return again, and he'll take it back to the 40-yard line. Short drop this time. The ball is tipped at the line of scrimmage, and still is caught by Troy. Tipped, and he'll have the first down at the 38-yard line. Concentration. Pressure. Straight ahead.
head with Davis. You could see the collision as the ball is loose and Alabama has recovered. You can really see a lot of bodies flying. Palmer on the reverse. Gets a block from his quarterback, but Woodard trying to chase him down, and he will. Mark Woodard with an outstanding defensive play. He was a tailback. Injured a knee as a freshman, now as a fullback. This is Anderson. At the 40-yard line, out to the 42. Ball is loose, and Mississippi State has recovered. This one does not spiral at all. Palmer with the fair catch at the 11-yard line. Just shy of the 35-yard line. <laughs> he, he should be with this team. From the wishbone, they run a counter. Roberts. And he'll be down to the 20-yard line. Johnson and Shade defensively. Good pass. Plenty of distance. And this time, he's good. Sherman Williams comes in at tailback, number 20. Alabama thinks he's going to be the next really good one there. Rolls has the pass and throws it complete. Prince Wembley at the 29. Full house backfield this time. And Anderson with the first down as he takes it to the 32. Third down and they need the 42. Gay Barker on the drop, pressure inside, never really got a chance. Kevin Henry never gave him the opportunity to throw the football. Deal with the kick, wobbly spiral. James will be to the 44-yard line. 28 yards in the kick, five on the return. Congratulations to uh, athletic director Wander Offord and to head coach Billy Brewer and his staff. That'll be a Donnie Brook between Ole Miss and Mississippi State this year. Straight ahead with the carry, and that's not going to be enough for the first down. They're going to say that the knee touched short of the 35-yard line. Stop and will not have it. John Copeland is the man who stuffed it. Discussing what the next plan of attack is. Sherman Williams turns the corner and look out. He will have the first down. And look for Alabama to call a quick timeout here as they have two left. They can try to throw it downfield, deep downfield. Looking for him over the middle. Going to go up on top, though. It is tipped and caught at the four yard line by Lee. First and goal, Alabama. Seven seconds until halftime. So Parker comes on to attempt the field goal. This one of 22 yards. And he knocks it home. We are at halftime. And as they head to the locker room, the Alabama Crimson Tide taking advantage of a 46-yard pass completion. It is Alabama 20, Mississippi State 3. on the carry to open the second half. The pitch to Lassick again tries to turn the corner. He does, but not enough for the first down. Frankie Luster, you can see number four, junior from Fort Myers, Florida. Quick pass intercepted by Mississippi State. That's Charlie Davidson, and he is inside the 10 yard. to throw it. Zings it, tip, through it, touchdown. And Mike, as they go for two points, they tried to get him again when he transferred from Pitt. Two shots at him and he decided to go to Mississippi State on the second try. 
Going to throw back with the pass and has it complete for the two points. Clanton. Returnable kick by James. Return to the near sideline. One person broke the wave, and he will be stopped after a couple of yards. And that is an outstanding job defensively. Well, then, into the game right now, he probably would be the most outstanding player. Rolls it, has a man wide open, throws it complete to Clanton, and he is inside the 30 to the 25-yard line. And roll the pocket. This time, it's caught by Harris. Twenty to eleven, Alabama leads. We are about to go under eleven minutes left in the ball game. Option play, and the pitch comes to McCary, and he will have the Mississippi State first down. First and ten, Mississippi State. Going to counter with a quarterback keeper. He's at the five. He is at the one. First and goal, Bulldogs. They're leading in momentum right now. Pass is caught. Kevin Lee makes the reception, and that silences the crowd right there. Three wide receivers for Alabama. Rolls the pocket, pumps it once, going to go on top, and he's got him wide open. Caught by Lee, and he drops the football. Oh my goodness. I'm saved on that drop. Deal to punt. And this is his best of the night. Hanging spiral at the 21 yard line. To the 40, and now to the 44. And third down. The pressure has it complete. Roberts with the first down and knocked out of bounds at the 33. Mississippi State has to also be thinking here on third down. They're in field goal range. Over the middle. It is caught by the tight end clap. Enough for the Bulldog first down. Brown the ball carry. Randy Brown takes it. To just outside the 10. James Gregory with the stop. Late substitution number 90, John Walters, comes onto the field of play for Alabama. Davis to the one. Flag goes down in the corner and touchdown Randy Brown. Now let's check the marker, which was thrown by the referee behind the offense. Illegal participation, offense, previous spot, 15 yards. Plenty of distance, and he's got it. The Bulldogs go on top, 21 to 20. This is something they really haven't Maybe done. a sign of impatience right now, being behind. Uh, it, but you still have to find a way to get the ball to number two. They roll the pocket pass. is thrown. Yes, they say it's a catch at the 32 to lead. Could be the final play of this third quarter. Takes it to Anderson. Rolls the pass and... Intercepted by Mississippi State's Charlie Davidson. Boy, that's tough news. And you see Elbert Brown, number 76. He is a sophomore out of Montgomery, replacing him. Pressure from the backside, and he is going to be swamped at the 44. Eric Curry, the first man there. This is his best kick of the night. Fair catch is called for and is made at the 20-yard line by Palmer. Jay Barker, the sophomore from Trustville. Under center and a play action. He wants to put it on top. 
does and has it complete at the 38 yard line. It's Curtis Brown. It's third down. And Alabama needs the ball at the 49 yard line. Jumps off a short pass. Here's Wembley. And Prince Wembley will take it for the first down at the 45 yard line of Mississippi State. That was Daniel Boyd who hit him and knocked the football away. Third down. Play action. Parker will be hit and knocked down back at the 44. That's Stephen Henry. Credit the Mississippi State defense. Deal with the punt. This is James backtracking. He'll take it from the 16. It's by one. The ball is loose. Picked up by Mississippi State. And he will take it. And now fumbled. He and fumbled. Alabama has recovered at the 43. He fumbled the football, Ron. Play action. Looking for Wembley. He's got it at the 16-yard line. First and 10, Crimson Tide. Williams inside the 10, down to the 5-yard line. Parker attempting from the 17. Ball is down, and he splits it. So we'll take a break. 8-10 left in the ballgame. Our new score, the Crimson Tide 23, the Bulldogs 21. Ron Franklin, Mike Gottfried, and Adrian Carson. Wish you could be here in person. This is just, as Mike said, a good old-fashioned get down to the trenches and fight type of football here. James, no place to go, and here comes a late flag. Pushing it back. Receiving team. Half a distance. First down. We'll see what happens with Alabama on defense. If they change anything in this series. Mississippi State wants to throw. Pressure is there. Gets it off, but it's complete to Roberts, and he will step out of bounds just across the 15. And here they come with the blitz. Pressure is on. Well, they're everywhere. And the pass is intercepted by Teague at the 19-yard line. 23 to 21. Alabama on top. Again, they go with the running play. Anderson, just a little hole, squeezes it through, has the first, and it is first and goal at the six-yard line. Straight T. Anderson over the top. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Gets it away and has it complete. His tight end, Clinton, and he will be stopped at the 37. Watson Brown, what will the fourth down call be? Needs a couple. Pressure, pass, is batted down at the line of scrimmage, and it's Albert Brown, who got a big hand up, replacing James Gregory, who knocked down the fourth down attempt. This is, guys, in case you have to go back in the line. Martin Houston with a rare carry, and he will take it down inside the 35-yard line. That will be enough for the Alabama first down just inside the 30-yard line. Alabama 7-0. They'll go to 10-0. <laughs> Mississippi State will be 4-3. And, and this means that they clinch the West. And they are in that championship game on the 5th. Let's uh, take a quick look over at the East. Georgia 6-2, 8-2 Florida at 5-2. But Florida clinches the title with a win against Dandy next week because of their win over Georgia earlier. Well, the longest running streak that Alabama's ever had was 28, and Mississippi State broke that back in 1980. Had a chance to repeat history, but it's not going to be true tonight as Palmer takes the pitch and is down at the 21-yard line. A minute 17 seconds left as State will take over the ball. Pass is caught by Truett, and he will be... Pushed out of bounds out at the 34-yard line by Chris Donnelly. How quickly they can get rid of this one because Ole Miss is a very good football team who uh, secured a, a Liberty Bowl berth today. That ball is caught inside the 
inside the 40. Pass is thrown complete. Willie Harris, and he will go out of bounds. Pass is tipped, and it's caught at the 11 yard line. from the outside. Pump, pumped once. Now in the end zone ball is tipped and George Teague comes up with the interception and that will do it with 28 ticks left on the clock. Now Ron, before this game ends, as you look at Watson Brown frustrated, Johnny Majors of course, we all know the news of Tennessee. He went 16 years, he took Tennessee to 12 bowl games. Last three years in January 1st bowls Last six years, he won three SEC champions. I don't understand it. So now, the Alabama Crimson Tide in the championship game, the first ever SEC championship game as a two-division race.